Let's get an interview going. Dragon, how do you think you've played today Shit. at Kingston Links? Shit. It's been a very windy day, hasn't it? Yeah. I mean, how do you think you've controlled the wind, some of your shots? Oh, I reckon they've been pretty tough. Pretty because bad. especially if you if you sky yeah, the ball, yeah. it's very hard to actually That's sort right. of get it lined. Do you, you know what I mean? You've got to hit it down low, Steve. That's right. You've got to keep it flat, hasn't it? The wind's very strong and it's about to rain here at it's Kingston like Links. Here, so it's going to make it well, this is a par three. Let's have a look. 100, 130, uh, 152 metres. Dragon's going for a five. We'll see how he goes. He's, he's in front today. He will win. Now let's have a look at his part three on the final hole, the 18th. We'll have a few beers after this. Dragon Christic, one of the great golfers in modern history, is about to perform some magic on the 18th shot with his six iron off the carpet. No tee. Here we go. Hang on. Hang on. Go. Dragon's in the creek! He's in the creek! Dragon in the creek! It's not over yet, they say. Not over until the fat lady sinks. Dragon's going to get a new ball. He's gone to the buggy. He's going to pick up. He's sliding the tip open. And he's going to get a new ball. Dragon's in the creek. The wind got to him. We just spoke about the wind. Dragon wasn't listening. And now Dragon gets a new ball out. Nods his head in, dis in shame and says, I must get this right. I didn't control the wind. I didn't judge the ball. I didn't hit the ball properly. I didn't keep it flat. All these things are now starting to worry Dragon. This is his third shot. Now uh, let's take aim and uh, hopefully Dragon can get it on the green this time. He certainly doesn't talk a lot. Not like me, but anyway, here we go. Could he be hitting the clubhouse? Clubhouse is in danger. Oh, it lands on the doorstep. The ball might be even having a beer while it's there. Dragon has landed near the clubhouse. I think insurance companies now would start to get a little bit edgy on some of the way Dragon plays his irons. But anyway, let's pause and hit pause. How do you pause here? And it's the Palooza. Eh? Yeah. No. Stephen's gonna hit it into the lake, I reckon. Hey? Check out these new clubs, Mizuno's, uh, fully grained, fully, uh, fully forged. All right, hurry up, hurry up. Fully forged. Uh, Stephen's got uh, two dollar clubs here uh, from the op shop there, and. Uh, he, re he reckons it worth about six hundred dollars. Uh, oh, sorry, six thousand dollars. But uh, I must have been missing. Come on, hurry up! Come on, hurry up! Hurry up! He, he's in that clubhouse and that's out of bounds. <laughs> oh, oh, Stephen's, oh, oh, I think you've killed a couple of, I think you've hit a, killed a couple of customers here, mate. <laughs> I think I might be alright. Oh, oh.